quick question did this ever happen to you so you maybe produced something you came up with a certain uh, line with a, with the melody that you really liked uh, you tried to make an arrangement out of that little loop that little synth line but somehow it didn't fit or it didn't connect it somehow it sounded boring all of a sudden you hear it for the hundredth time and you you didn't like it anymore so yeah the question is how can you transform that little main idea into a whole arrangement what is the concept to follow uh, so you can write a, a interesting arrangement with the main idea and that is exactly what i want to talk in this week's video because uh, someone someone texted me that he has some problems to transform the main idea into an interesting arrangement that flows um, that is uh, engaging and whatnot right so if you struggle sometimes with a similar issue um, maybe this video helps you out hopefully it does because the main idea that I follow along is basically I create a main element right that I like this can be done by simply jamming and record the whole process right maybe I would even record the MIDI notes and then um, cut out the good pieces right maybe I take a break come back and then I cut out chunks that I like and then I choose okay this will be the main idea now if I get this then I basically transform it or I try to transform it to something different right so we have the main idea I like to think about it like it's the main it's kind of the parent right the mother maybe father and now we make the children right we make one child we make two children we make three children and then we play with them right we, we bring them in we bring them out it's a dynamic thing you know and that's uh, the whole arrangement right that that it don't get boring right so main idea is always there but we can lower the volume we can filter it out we can um smack effects on it we can play around with simple things just volume filtering and um, envelope right shortening the attack maybe not the attack but envelope the release sorry it's late um the release a little bit and um, simply by doing this we can create tension and release we can create dynamic and make an interesting arrangement just with simple tools and that's exactly what i want to show you in this week's video um, how i try to transform a main idea that i really liked in the first place um, and yeah it almost bored me out you know but um, um yeah i want to show you the process in this week's video how i go with transforming the main idea into something different and also i try to make kind of a mini arrangement so you so that you get the idea how the workflow and the mindset behind main idea and coming up with different versions of that interacting in an arrangement kind of uh, thing you know it's not a whole track but it's it's uh, i think it can easily become a whole track once you understand that concept i think it's easy to repeat it um so the arrangement process which is sometimes a pain in the ass right um can be done faster and more easier and um yeah we don't get stuck in the loop so yeah now let's jump over to this week's video before we do so I quickly want to mention my one tool Ableton Live preset pack that I created for you. I call it the instant one tool preset pack because it can transform maybe a main idea like I show you in this video to something new, right? Maybe you can download it, try it out on your synths, uh, whatever you like and transform it to something new. It's completely for free, of course. If you want that, just grab it on the link below. Hopefully it's... Um, spark some inspiration and uh, yeah now let's jump over to this week's video thanks for watching thanks for your time my name is Solvano from roughestudio.com i'm here to help and inspire you hopefully on a weekly basis in the topic of raw minimal micro house um yeah this track here this idea is more of a melodic kind of track um it's it is it reminds me of amorph you know and uh yeah hope you like it so yeah let's jump over to, to the ableton session you like it all right so this is the project that we are working on today um, yeah just testing some hi-hats here you can hear the main idea in the background right that soon this is 
is what I was talking about. Just with Sun's DK, we already can create some dynamic tension and release, right? Simple stuff again. So yeah, first thing what I do is copying the main idea and now I try to adjust things, you know? By changing notes maybe, the speed of the notes, the playback direction, and I use MD Snake very often for that, right? Because it's simple, it's straightforward and it's based on a modular Eurorack module called uh, Make Noise Rene, I guess. But we get it for free, kind of, right? For, as a Max for Life device. So this is the second... No, basically this is the first adaption, right? And I'm just trying, jamming out ideas, experimenting, having fun, um, by coming up maybe with different versions from the main idea, right? Let's make another version maybe, adapt it. I have in mind something maybe kind of a pad kind of sound, maybe a little bit, you know, a longer sound maybe, kind of. Let's have a listen. Yes, maybe something like that. Kind of a, an answer to the to the main sound to the other sounds, and still we can play with it, right? We can shorten it again. Playing with the envelope. Really, I'm just experimenting, jamming around. Sometimes also try to add effects to transform the sound even more, making it a little bit more um, interesting and different sounding, right? I like to think of it like, um, like a painter, you know, we paint a picture, but we don't just use the same color. We mix the, the main color up with something different, maybe. And uh, we paint a different picture, right? And we make a contrast. Let's have a listening context. Maybe try out a mini arrangement so that you get the idea of the, the concept, how they could possibly interact with each other. And if it works in small, it also works in, in, in big, right? AK over the period of several minutes. Basically it's just about the concept, understanding the concept of arranging a track, right? Might need to choose another loop. Let's see. The baseline is not somehow fitting to the main idea. Let's try another adaption, maybe.
So I cut the video because this took me quite a bit to create that sound. So I don't want to bore you out, you know. So I just want to that you get the concept somehow, you know. So basically we took the main idea and transformed it several times. And this is the result, right? The idea is that it still connects somehow to the main idea because we took it from there, right? But created something new out of it. here just with the release we can create some tension right and I do so drawing some um, some automations right for the different parts and let's try that out and see if we can build a mini arrangement out of those elements that we created this main element right that you can hear even with that we can transform it we can make it more dynamic interesting creating tension and release So for this track, little mini arrangement, I used filtering, um, release and volume. Those, those are the three main um, dials I used to create some tension and release, right? You can uh, use effects, whatever you want, right? But with volume, filtering, shortening the sound, you can come already far away, you know, in my opinion. Just want to adjust it a little bit, maybe. And I just love to experiment, honestly. Yeah, maybe as an impact a little bit in the background. Could maybe work, you know, as a layer kind of. sound So I created another element to give kind of a break, a fresh freshness infused as as a answer to the other two parts, right?
Adding baseline hi hats. Right. Bring those elements in and out by volume, by decay. You can create dynamic effects maybe. Those are this is on the highest, right? You can hear the sound, right? How it moves, how it creates tension. Let's see if we can adapt it a little bit more some effects I think I showed you how to create those effects with the wavetable soon in a, in a video a couple weeks ago My mouse is somehow broken, it jumps sometimes just around. I don't know, man. Sorry. So yeah, and all those elements that you can hear now are basically adaptions from the main idea, right? That I played in the first place, in the beginning. Now just playing by bringing them in and out, by volume, by filtering, by release, decay, whatever, we can get a quite interesting arrangement, I would say, bring the hi-hats in and out, create dynamic, and so on, right? Maybe yeah, let's add some texture for the background to fill up some space maybe, don't know. Honestly, this, is, this was a happy accident. Just pulled it, the plug in up, it's, it's a radio station that plays sounds. And I have the feeling this texture just fits the track. It's a happy accident, honestly.
yeah and that's basically the whole magic you know just um, think about the concept of creating one main idea and then transform that into something new right and then playing with the parameters like I told you with the simple parameters um, volume filter decay with the length of the sound and adjusting notes pitch whatever right smack effects on it and so on so yeah hope this was helpful uh, enjoy experimenting with those parameters if you struggle to get the arrangement down done and down and uh, yeah have fun experimenting and enjoy the ride enjoy the process cheers bye bye hope to see you next week